Hey, this is Brett, and today I'm super excited to go over this brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon with the 35 inch tire and wheel group. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video, show you all the options on it. The color on this one is Anvil. It's the new color for 2024. It's replacing Sting Gray. And uh, just gonna go over all the options on this as well as all the new styling for the mid-model refresh that they did on the 2024. Starting off here in the front, you can see that you get the LED lights. Now you're gonna get the LED lights on all the trim levels now, except for the Sport and Sport S um, standard. So LED running lights, LED headlamps, LED running lights there, and the LED fog lamps. You get the shortened grill. It's about two inches. Normally it goes down to here but now they have it a little bit narrower. Of course, still the seven slots. I think it looks really good. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the new grill. Uh, this one is Anvil Clear Coat, like I said, and that replaced the Sting Gray. Also wanna know if everybody likes the new color or not, so um, definitely chime in in the comments below. This one has the two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine and it uh, has the eight-speed automatic transmission, 20 miles per gallon highway, 20 city combined. And uh, the first thing you'll notice that's new on the 2024 is you don't have an antenna anymore. You also get a trail rated badge where that antenna used to connect. Uh, so now it has two trail rated badges and that antenna is now in the windshield. This is also a Gorilla Glass windshield standard on all the Wranglers except the Sport. The 35 inch tire and wheel group gives you the BF Goodrich All-Terrain TA KO2 tires. These are LT315 70R17 tires. It comes with the new looking wheels, painted and polished aluminum 17 inch beadlock capable wheels and a new center cap as well. You get the Jeep logo on there and the suspension, get the Rubicon suspension under there. You get the extended fender flares, and that's to meet the you know, state and highway regulations where the fenders have to be as wide as the tires. So that's why they put those on there. Get the T50 on the door. Get the rock rails, part of the Rubicon package. And uh, that's how the back fenders look. Let's take a look at the original window sticker. Feel free to pause this. I'm not gonna go through everything. And then we'll get into the interior here. 2024 Wrangler four-door Rubicon, Anvil clear coats the color, two liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine. I believe it's 270 horsepower, eight-speed automatic transmission. Everything on your left there is your standard equipment. Standard interior features with that 12.3 interior uh, touchscreen display. That's the standard radio now on all the Wranglers and the exterior features there. Anvil clear coat is 595. The extreme 35 inch tire package is $3,995. You get the 17 by 8 inch painted black aluminum wheels, LT31570 R17 tires, and the hinge gate reinforcement by Mopar. This one also has a convenience group, which gives you heated seats, heated steering wheel, and remote start. That's a thousand bucks. Pretty decent for heated seats and heated steering wheel and remote start. Eight speed automatic transmission is 2,500 bucks. Has select speed control and adaptive cruise control. And the black three piece hardtop is 1495. Total MSRP on this one is 60,770. And if you want to get your summit price in the upper right hand part of the screen and in the description below is a link to our website to this vehicle on our website three or 36 bumper to bumper and five year 60 powertrain there is the miles per gallon and emissions information and it's not rated for safety ratings yet we'll check out that interior in just a little bit because i really want to go over that dash um, that was a big topic of discussion on my last video i did on the 2024 wrangler there's the black three-piece hardtop you get the hinge gate reinforcement. You also get the LED lights standard. Uh, this one still has the Ralph, the little dog on the light extenders. And that comes with the 35 inch tire and wheel group. I think it's because this tire is so wide, they had to bring these back a little bit for regulations. There's your hinge gate reinforcement. And 
This one does have the towing package, receiver hitch, four pin, and seven pin wiring. Uh, this one's also gonna have the uh, new rear axle with the full float um, that everybody's been talking about as well. Back storage area hasn't changed at all. Uh, the one thing that has changed is you now store your electrical and windshield washer fluid in here uh, when the hard top's off, so that's kind of cool. You get your four bolts on each side. We actually did a demo on how to take your jail hard top off. Uh, that video is in the upper right hand part of the screen and everything's going to be the same except where you store those connectors. There's your bag for your front hard top pieces. Get a nice big storage area back here and door hinge and roof bolt um, holders back here. Seven slots on the back door as well. There is your JL badge. They haven't changed this at all. Get your wheelbase and overall length for the two door and four door as well as water fording. And even with that big tire, that gate shuts nice and easily. Let's go check out the interior. Can still has the T50 for the doors to take those doors off. We did a demo on how to take the doors off. You can check that out in the description below and in the um, upper right hand part of the screen there. These are heated mirrors. This one does have the enter and go system. So you just have to have your key in your pocket and it'll automatically unlock. You get the dark charcoal. I guess they call it black on the window sticker. Um, they call it black interior. I call it dark charcoal. You get the Rubicon stitched backrest, red stitching throughout. Unfortunately, this one does not have the power seat, um, which kind of sucks. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Factory floor, mat, floor mats, uh, they did make this new display right there with the JL and Gladiator. That's kind of neat. Auto headlamps, tilt telescopic steering wheel, power mirrors, power locks. Nothing's really changed there. Uh, the one thing that has changed is the dash. If you remember all the old Rubicons, or not old Rubicons, but the 2023s, all had a red plastic finish um, and it was painted. Now this is, they say leather, some people say leather, but it kind of looks like a Gore-Tex um, finish to me, like what they put on the Rebels and stuff uh, for the seats. Anyways, it, it kind of feels like leather. If you get really up close to it, it's textured. Textured, get that red trim right there. Hop inside, check out the miles, and then we'll, the, in instrument cluster and then we'll check out that 20.3 inch radio because that is the new standard radio get the rubicon animation at the beginning there seven inch lcd display that's all the same as the old jls you get the nice heated leather wrap steering wheel the red stitching on the steering wheel you get um adaptive cruise controls and regular cruise controls right there bluetooth and information center controls and you still get audio controls in the back of the the steering wheel. Here is the 12.3 inch touchscreen radio and uh, this is the standard radio for all of the Wranglers across the board on all of the trim levels. So you can, this is the only radio you can get. It has AM, FM and Sirius standard. Uh, the only thing that you can really upgrade this radio to is if it has nav you know right from the factory. This one does not um, but you get all your different apps here. And you can see those, check those out. Android Auto, you can project your cell phone to the screen here. So while this one doesn't have the nav projected from your cell phone, and it's like you have nav right in the screen if you have Waze or Google Maps on your phone. Here's your off-road pages. You get your steering angle, your transfer case, if it's locked, unlocked, sway bar, if it's connected or disconnected. Same thing with the front axle and rear axle locker. Uh, you also have your accessory gauges and your pitch and roll latitude and longitude and altitude down there. So all the stuff you can do with this radio, you have your climate controls here as well. And uh, if I turn that on, you can actually see you get the dual climate controls and you can control your heated seats and heated steering wheel there. And that fan blows really good. Let's see if I can check out the backup camera here. So what they've done is they've made it the same size as the old 8.4. Um, and then they give you a Jeep logo on the right there, but it's still HD crystal clear on there. Uh, they changed the upper dash a little bit as well. And the center stack is about the same, uh, just a little bit wider. They got the gloss black, which kind of blends right into the dash, which is pretty cool as well. Um, get that leatherish material on the dash over there. 
and the front hardtop pieces are all the same. Somebody pointed out in my last video, the interior lights are different, and they are. That is one thing that is new on the 2024 that I missed in my other video. You get individual LED lights back here. And then the other thing that is new for 2024 is they all come with side curtain airbags. So a plowed Jeep for that safety upgrade. SOS and assist buttons and home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. I'm going to start up, take a look under the hood. We'll also turn on all those lights on the outside. So you can see how bright they are. For the past year and a half, I've been saying I wouldn't get a Wrangler without the LED light group. I think Jeep was listening because now they've made it standard pretty much across the board on all the Jeeps and you can see just how bright they are. And actually what I'll do is I'll turn off all the lights in the studio so you can really see how nice and bright they all are. Under the hood you have the two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. Engine bay is obviously very cool. Paired up the eight speed automatic transmission, 20 miles per gallon highway and city and combined. There's the emissions sticker. So, um, would love to hear everybody's feedback. I'm just going to turn the lights off, so one second. There you can see just how bright those lights are. And like I said, I'd like to get everybody's feedback on the new 2024 Wrangler, the anvil color, the upgrades to the headlights, the upgrades to the front grille, the upgrades to the radio, the interior. Uh, the side curtain airbags if you've got an opinion just let me know in the description below or in the comments section i would love to hear it love those led tail lamps you get the led license plate lights as well and definitely the wrangler one of the most popular vehicles on my youtube channel and i'm curious to see if anvil is going to be the most popular color because stingray in my opinion from what i saw was the most popular color on the Wranglers so like I said let me know your opinions and uh, thanks for checking out the video to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars trucks SUVs minivans Wranglers you name it we got to go to that website right there summitauto.com full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle all at summitauto.com and if you'd like to check out more HD videos you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto click the bell notifications you'll get updates every time I do videos each and every day of our new and used inventory especially Jeep Wranglers and also have access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle walkarounds and Jeep Wrangler walkarounds on YouTube. In fact, in a second you'll see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Wrangler videos I've done, almost 500 videos in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to how to take your hard top off your JL in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and uh, super excited to help you with the brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler four-door Rubicon in Anvil clear coat. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.